Hello! Today I want to show you a new exercise for the teres minor muscle. The teres minor is one of the four rotator cuff muscles. Uh, it aids in stabilization of the glenohumeral joint, the shoulder joint. It pulls the humeral head down, which is why it is very important when you're treating um, shoulder impingement syndrome, especially subacromial impingement. It also aids in actually in helping the scapula to follow the arm's movement. So it is also uh, very important when you're dealing with scapular dyskinesis. Furthermore, uh, between the teres major and the teres minor passes the axillary nerve. And when there is dysfunction of these muscles, it can cause entrapment of the axillary nerve and typical shoulder, arm, neuralgic pain, hurts to lie on the arm and so on. Now I will show you how to strengthen this muscle today. I have another exercise uh, on YouTube actually where I show it in this manner. That is a completely fine exercise if your patient is able to hold your scapula, his, his or her scapula up properly. However, for a patient with scapular, scapular dyskinesis, and they have a tendency of going down to that downwards rotation, uh, this uh, exercise can actually make them worse. For example, if you don't have time to show them properly, or if they just don't uh, understand how to do it properly, which is very common when you're dealing with scapular dyskinesis. So today I will show you an exercise where we are sidelined. We have the arm into slight flexion and we perform lateral uh, axial rotation of the arm. Of course we try to maintain proper height of the scapula but it is not as pressuring in this position as it is in this position because in, a, in 90 degrees of abduction you may have impingement while you do the exercise and of course that is not that great if you're trying to get your uh, patient better. So let me show you how to do it. Okay so this is how you do it. Get your acromion up to proper height if the patient is able to do so go into about 45 degrees of humeral flexion and in this position you perform smooth lateral humeral rotation and the more impaired that muscle of the patient is the slower they have to do it if the patient is relatively fresh you know he will be able to do it a little bit faster but generally in poor shape the patient is the slower and the more boring the the exercise should be okay and uh, you have to make sure once again that the scapula does not drop down into downward rotation and you want to make sure that that humeral axis is maintained during movement that means that you cannot jerk around with the humerus because then you will get too much engagement of the posterior deltoid and of course in, you know as i say in some people if they are not in too bad of a shape be able to target both of those muscles simultaneously. It's not optimal, but it's possible. But in someone with a very impaired teres minor muscle, if they do that jerking around, they will not get a proper stimulus and they will most likely not get any progress. So, as I said, in the poorer shape that the patient is, the slower you want to perform the movement. Okay, so there you have it. That is my new exercise for the teres minor muscle. If your patient has axillary neuralgia, you may want to start very carefully, maybe one to five to ten reps, one set, a couple of times per week, two, three times per week. If it is just a shoulder problem, you know, you can do 12 reps, a couple of sets, a couple of times per week. That is my recommendation. Remember to keep the acromion up. If we are promoting scapular dyskinesis by putting the patient into downward rotation, uh, the, the, the work of the rotator cuff muscle will be uh, absolutely futile, it will not yield any results. So keep the scapula up to proper axial rotation and your patient will get better and you will feel great about it and you can also use it of course on yourself if you have uh, shoulder pain. So I wish you all a nice day.